Hey, Andy here. Right, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of my um, new Semantics Pro keyword software. Now, Semantics Pro works differently from other keyword tools. Other keyword tools generally get their keywords from keyword um, resources such as um, Google uh, Keyword Planner, etc. Now, with Semantics Pro, it actually gets the keywords from the pages that are being ranked by Google at this moment in time. So I'm going to give you an idea um, of how this software works and why it's beneficial. Uh, not only does it give you um, new keyword ideas that you might not be able to get from um, Google's Keyword Planner and other keyword tools, it'll also give you an idea on the semantics and what type of words are actually being included in these pages to get them to rank in the first place. So I'm going to type a keyword in here. Um, how to get rid of dry skin. So let's say this is a, a keyword that I want to target. Uh, okay, all I would do here is um, I would leave it on worldwide because it's uh, an international type keyword. Um, and also I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to go for 40 results with this one. Okay, um, obviously, the more page results that I select, um, for example, if it's 100 pages, it means that the keyword list is going to be far, far bigger. But for this example, I'm going to leave it on 40. And I'm just going to click get new URLs. Then what the software will do, it will retrieve me these URLs. It's actually got 30 URLs. Um, I can choose to leave a two second delay on. Um, for example, um, the first two results are from wikihow.com because I don't want the software to just be hitting the same site numerous times instantaneously. Um, you can leave a two second delay on. If uh, all of these URLs are generally different, you can just uncheck that and it just means the software will process it a lot quicker. But I'm just going to leave it on two seconds and click VIP keywords. And then the uh, software will start going through each of these URLs. Um, tells you here extracting keywords from, it tells you the, um, the URL it's extracting from, and it also tells you how many keywords it's extracted. So we can see 303 keywords, 265, and it does this pretty quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do just for now, I'm just going to click pause just for a minute, half a minute, and then we'll come back to it. Right, the software is finished processing the URLs and it will return this screen here. Now, um, in the top you'll see a master list. This includes all of the keywords that it's retrieved, but also just the same at the bottom because these are the ones that you can export. So if I, if I hover over here, you'll see 3,096 unique keywords that the software has extracted. Now that's just from 40 URLs and the software can um, get keywords from up to 100 URLs. So you can literally pull thousands of semantic keywords. So the first thing you might want to do is export all of those keywords. So I can just click export keywords, one click, and it's done it. If I open the folder, um, you can put here, um, you'll see uh, right, how to get rid of dry skin, 3093 keywords, and it also puts a date stamp on as well, so you can organize your keyword list a little better. Now, that's just one particular feature and one benefit, um, but what I'm gonna do here is show you um, how you can quickly create smaller segmented targeted lists of keywords by targeting specific keywords. So say if I wanted to whittle the keywords down to only keywords, semantic keywords that included the word dry, I would simply type that in there. I can sort from A to Z and click filter, and it will bring me back all of the keywords, which is 137 keywords from that list that have um, that include the, key, uh, the word dry. Again, I can click export, and if we look there, we will now see that um, there's the main target keyword. That's how many keywords we've got. That's a date stamp, and it tells us it includes the word dry. Okay, um, we can do the same. Let's say we only want keywords that include the word skin. Click filter. There we go. Two two hundred and twenty-four keywords. Again all semantic keywords that are included in the content that is currently ranking in Google for our target keywords. So these are all semantic keywords. This is what people are actually using, what competitors are using right now to rank and um, within their content. Again, we can just click export, one single click. Um, or we might say use the word cream, for example. So if we want to find all semantic keywords that include the word cream, just click filter. There we go, We've got 23 keywords. Cuticle cream, uh, creamy skincare recipe, uh, body cream, 
um, dry skin cream, etc. Okay, again, we can just click export and it's done. Okay, so that's um, Semantics Pro, and that shows you um, how useful um, the software is for quickly um, segmenting small semantic keyword lists um, to help you rank and build content in Google uh, and on the internet. It's also great for getting um, keyword IDs as well because the keyword planner and um, some of the keyword tools don't give you every single keyword. Because this approaches keyword research from the opposite direction, it's going to give you keyword ideas um, that people are actually already including within their content. Um, and it'll give you ideas on how to build content yourself. So that's uh, Semantics Pro, thanks for watching.